Hello. Tá bom? This is a very innovative event. The organization speaks in Portuguese and we speak in English. The good one. Okay, the common factor between all the people that I've listened to today and uh, very interesting was do it. We had a dream, uh, a dream or a moment of insanity, I'm not sure yet which one, and we did it. Uh, I managed to make my family follow me. They must have thought, let's do it, we cannot contradict him. And some other people came along too, of course they're all under psychiatric evaluation now. But this is what we did. No, and wait, Francesca wait, wait. will present wait. you okay. the... So this is my father, Francisco, and I am Francesca, and we are here today to talk to you about our eco, our eco camping resort. So it's not a hotel and it's not a camping site either. It's a new product and we call it Zemar. And it all started with my father's strong obsession with waste. My father has always had this issue with the amount of packaging we buy, the amount of rubbish we can produce. And pay for it. And pay for, on top of all. And the amount of plastic we throw away. Actually, he is the CEO of Zemar, but he is usually seen on site, you know, picking up a cigarette butts from the floor. This is what the CEO does. Now, what we realize is that the common factor between... The, the common poor... factor between the poorest and the richest societies in the world is waste. We need to change that. <laughs> we need to make an innovation. We did what we think we could do. We tried to make something and give an example to everyone what should be next. Waste is common to all classes, all societies, all human beings. And I could go on and on about its effects on the environment, although I think there's really no need. I'm sure everywhere, everyone in this room is aware. And I really have no time. I have like four, four minutes ticking, so I'm going to keep going. My father always worked in real estate. So this was another issue, construction. We look at the planet and realize it can handle any more impermeabilized soils, any more concrete, any more cement, and... Now the presentation has <laughs> gone again. <laughs> okay. Um, Antoine Lavoisier said, in nature, nothing is created, nothing is lost, everything is transformed. So the idea was to build, but mingle, and adapt to the natural landscape, knowing that if we ever wanted to move them out from where it is, we'd be able to do so, and the land would still be intact. And of course, when, when building Zemar, we chose only renewable materials such as wood and stone that mingle very well in the natural surroundings. So waste and construction, these were our two major concerns combined with yet another concern, the consumers. What are people looking for? What they can afford? What they're getting? What they should be getting and what they deserve? People have limited economic resources and therefore are looking for value for their money. And as we keep informing our consumers, they are becoming more and more demanding in the products and purchases they, they and products and services they purchase. However, sustainability and going for the most ecological product can be very hard on our wallets. And truth be told, for the upper classes, everything has been done, everything has been created, everything has been invented. So it's really the lower classes we have to work for. It's the lower classes we must focus on. And they are, unfortunately, in large numbers. So that was part of our strategy in terms of sales. Make them out accessible to all. Give people something they never had. Give them value for their money. Give them a chance to be treated with quality. Uh, and, believe, and, and with this, we set our example. We show people our vision. And believing that example is not the best way to influence someone, it's the only way. We created Zemar according to our vision of the future and what of tourism in the 21st century should look like. Zemar is a place that combines leisure with technology, sustainability, accessibility, and quality. Uh, everything in Zemar, everything you see is rustic, everything you don't see is high tech. It's 81 hectares for ecotourism, all built above the soil in order not to impermeabilize it. We have wooden houses and pitches for camping. Uh, all the wood came from certified forests, which means that they are well managed and legally harvested. Uh, also, we feel we have a huge social responsibility at Zemar 
and made it accessible, eliminated all arch architectural barriers that might exist for people with disabilities and wheelchairs. Uh, in terms of hotel services, we have everything. Spa, restaurants, supermarkets, uh, kids' playground, kids' house. This is the, uh, the swimming pools, indoor swimming pools, gym, treetop adventure, tennis and paddle courts. A bicycles for rent, event stands, a common lounge, a medical center. So it's really everything a five-star hotel should have, but it's much more than a traditional camper could ever ask for. And in terms of sustainability, I can say that all houses and common areas have solar panels installed. We have our own water treatment units to reuse all the water. We allow no vehicle circulation. We have our own golf carts with solar panels installed. Um, we try to buy everything locally or nationally to avoid CO2 emissions caused by transportation. All outdoor furniture, this is actually very interesting, all outdoor furniture is made out of recycled plastic. <coughs> so it's 400,000 tons of plastic that we prevented from going to a landfill and transformed it into outdoor furniture. In 2009, they might recycle in just six months. 2,000 kilos of plastic, three of paper, nearly four of glass, and sent eight 140 liters of vegetable used oil to, for the production of biodiesel. <coughs> uh, we've also had some awards for sustainable construction and innovation, and we're recently just certified by TUV. So I, I want to thank you all very much for this opportunity to be here. I think that communicating and spreading our ideas, it's all very important. But more than that, like everyone said already, we have to do it. CEOs and entrepreneur, entrepreneurs have to do it and demonstrate it. And that's what we did. We believe Zemar is the future, and the future starts today. So what is the innovation in Zemar? Concept, I mentioned, the quality, safety, um, the feeling, the ecology, sustainability, the opportunity, the high technology, the accessibility, the offer, the services, all of the above. I believe that mainly, mainly the example. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Let me, let, me just add, let me just add something. I think the real innovation, the example, of course, is that we made the pro, we, we pursued the dream, we did it, we put our effort into it, it's done. Work, work, work. But the main, the main innovation for me is that we created something for people that cannot afford it. And that's... See, the matter in the end was built for those who can't or couldn't because now they can't afford it. We made a product for people that cannot afford it. Is this innovation or lunacy? We'll, see, we'll find out very soon. <laughs> <laughs>